Sister Wives Garrison Brown's sister reveals why he committed suicide, and Garrison Brown's enduring impact. Over $13,000 raised for animal shelter in his memory following tragic passing. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my shocking news channel. Garrison Brown's sister, Madison Brown, is speaking out about the sister wife's personality's mental health issues, two weeks after the 25-year-old was found dead by a suicide. Garrison died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound earlier this month. Cody and Janelle Brown's son was laid to rest four days later. On Monday, the 28-year-old took to Instagram to share her thoughts as she addressed the family tragedy. Mental health is so important, and I don't think we talk about it enough, and I don't think we do enough to bring awareness, Madison said, through tears. The mom of three clarified that her brother had not been bullied, nor was it a lack of love that led to his decision to end his own life. It was mental health and I am going to continue talking about mental health and self-love until I'm blue in the face because I don't think it's talked about enough in a way that people understand it, she said. Madison also shared that she had learned that time is precious in the wake of her brother's death. If you're not happy with how you're spending your time and you don't feel fulfilled in life, then I would encourage you to reevaluate because it's so fleeting and it's so precious and I noticed that, especially these last two weeks, with having kids, Two, social media is not real, Madison told her followers. She added that she was committed to online authenticity, because social media does not paint a true picture of a person's life. I'm done with filters, she declared. Madison added, it's a highlight reel, and that was something that Garrison and I talked about, and I know my other siblings. And my mom had expressed this that Garrison used to feel like he wasn't doing enough because he was comparing himself to things on social media, and I don't think that it's real, and I think we need to remember that. She encouraged her followers to remember that Instagram only shows snippets of reality. Madison also shared that she had learned to appreciate the value of a strong community and loving others even if you have differences. I've had a phenomenal community show up, and also my siblings, we all disagree. We're all very strongly opinionated people, and we have disagreements, she said. Madison added that her family members had reunited over the loss, and had loved each other despite their differences. So if you're struggling with community, I would encourage you to get out and talk to people and get away from your screens, and social media's not real, and get community with your family, your friends, your loved ones, she said. Madison concluded. Her emotional message by thanking her followers for sending messages of love and support after Garrison's death. Thank you for the outpouring of love that we've had, she said. I have received probably thousands of messages from you guys just saying condolences, talking about your experiences with suicide, and just love, and I wanted to say thank you for that because I maybe didn't respond, but I read them, and a lot of you had experienced something like this, so it's crazy. How many people it touches. She explained that while the first week following her brother's passing was horrible, she wanted to reach out to her followers because she loves the platform. I know social media can be controversial, but Instagram is my platform. It's one that I have babied. It's one that I've cultivated my following, she explained. I love connecting with you guys, so I wanted to get back to normalcy here. Madison's caption noted that it felt surreal, too. Move on after such a traumatic loss. I shared with a friend, who has also been intimately touched by the tragedy of suicide, how surreal it feels to step back into the rhythm of normal life, observing others engaged in their everyday routines while my mind remains consumed with thoughts of garrison, she wrote. She acknowledged that the shadow of such a loss lingers for months. Though I am not naive to the fact of returning to what once was normal, won't be happening. I find myself prepared to start getting back into this new normalcy. Last week, McKelty Padron, daughter of Cody and Christine Brown, said in a posted video that Garrison would be happy that the divided Brown clan had come together over the heartbreaking loss. Cody and Janelle Brown share five additional children together, Logan, Hunter, Gabriel and daughters, Madison and Savannah. Donations honoring the memory of Robert Garrison Brown have been pouring in to benefit the high. Country Humane Animal Shelter, in the wake of the 25-year-old's tragic death. 
a representative for the Flagstaff, Arizona Animal Shelter, where the Sister Wives star adopted three cats over a two-year period, confirmed that they had received $13,000 in memory of Cody and Janelle Brown's deceased son. The shelter will be sponsoring all cat adoptions in Garrison's name for the month of March, to honor the young life cut short. High Country Humane wrote in a statement, With your generosity, we will be able to feed and care for the over 150 homeless animals we currently have at the shelter. Thank you to those who have donated. We are so grateful for your generosity, and for creating a wave of positivity out of sadness and tragedy. The facility will also be naming their cat adoption room after Garrison, the spot where the National Guard vet connected with his own cats. Garrison held his newest kitty, Ms. Buttons, in his final Instagram post. His cats will now be cared for by family members. The shelter's executive director told Radar Online that she had already informed Janelle about their plan to honor her son. I'm being told about everyone's donations to at High Country Humane at Arc Cat San Cuteri in Garrison's name. Janelle captioned two photos of her beloved son with his pets on Instagram Tuesday. Thank you for all your generosity. It means so much. The cats he adopted from both agencies were so important to him. He loved being a cat dad. Garrison was found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound by his brother, Gabriel, earlier this month. Gabe told officers that his brother had been struggling with mental health concerns and alcohol abuse. Janelle also confirmed that her son was estranged from his father. Sister Wives fans know that Garrison and the former polygamist had shared a strained relationship for years. Cody and Janelle's son was laid to rest four days later. McKelty Padron, daughter of Cody and Christine Brown, asserted in a new video that Garrison would be happy that the divided Brown clan had reunited over the heartbreaking loss. She added that she was comforted in the knowledge that her half-brother was no longer in pain. We do have some more things for him, in honor of him, coming up this next month and some more in the next couple of months, she revealed. There's a Brown family reunion in Wyoming. And a lot of my family, most of them, are going to honor him. Janelle recently shared a previously unseen family photo on Instagram, captioning the poignant image, I had all my children together last Christmas. It was amazing as it's hard with everyone's busy lives to coordinate time like this. I am extremely grateful now that we had pictures taken. The Brown family came together to mourn the loss of Garrison Brown, the son of Sister Wives stars Janelle and Cody Brown, at a service held just four days after his untimely death. In a poignant tribute shared. On Saturday, Garrison's heartbroken cousin, Emma, penned a letter expressing her sorrow and longing for one final conversation with him. Dear Robert, I had to dress up for your funeral today and this is everything I wish you could have heard before I had to say goodbye, Emma wrote, capturing the profound sense of loss felt by those closest to Garrison. Last week, the Flagstaff Police Department disclosed that Garrison, the 25-year-old son of Sister Wives stars Janelle and Cody Brown, was discovered deceased in his residence, a tragic event attributed to an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. According to the police report, Garrison's brother Gabe was the one who made the heartbreaking discovery on that fateful Tuesday. Janelle recounted to officers that Garrison had ceased communication with her the previous night. She also revealed that he had sent a cryptic text message to a group of acquaintances they work with, expressing conflicting emotions. I want to hate you for sharing the good times. But I can't. I miss these days. In the wake of his sudden passing, friends and family have come forward to honor the memory of the remarkable individual Garrison was. Reflecting on their cherished moments together, his cousin shared a heartfelt tribute expressing the difficulty in bidding farewell to someone with such a radiant smile and undeniable presence. I don't even own a picture of you without your contagious smile. I don't know if I have the right words to say I'll miss you. I wish I was able to give you a hug and tell you how much you were loved. You were human, you had flaws but never once did I doubt the friendship we had, the tribute read. Garrison's passing comes with a heavy heart especially as loved ones anticipate what would have been his 26th birthday on April 10th. Emma expressed her enduring gratitude for the special moments shared with Garrison, noting their plans for numerous backpacking. Adventures that sadly remained unfulfilled. We planned to go on so many backpacking trips but only made it to one, 
she lamented. Recalling fond memories, Emma fondly reminisced about garrisons, goofy dad jokes, their movie nights, self-care rituals, and his willingness to indulge in messy face masks together. You always made sure that I ate, and made sure I knew I could always talk to you, she reflected, highlighting his nurturing and supportive nature. You were a son, a brother, a soldier, and a friend. If there is a god, I hope he's giving you peace, she concluded, expressing her wish for Garrison's tranquility in the afterlife. In the wake of his passing, several of Garrison's siblings have taken to social media to share their cherished memories and tributes. The outpouring of condolences extended beyond familial circles, with the Nevada National Guard also honoring Garrison's memory. Having enlisted in 2015, Garrison was remembered by his fellow soldiers as a dedicated individual with a keen listening ear and a passion for military service. He grew up on camera, so he knew a little bit about who he was from the show, even before he joined, remarked Master Sergeant Christopher LaDuca, his readiness non-commissioned officer. LaDuca emphasized that despite Garrison's public persona, his military colleagues knew him for his humility and integrity. He never talked down to people or played the macho game. He spent most of his time just doing what was right, LaDuca recalled, painting a picture of Garrison as a steadfast and honorable individual both on and off camera. What do you think about this video? Please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video.